NFL 24, and it's brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Cleveland Browns and the Buffalo Bills coming up next. We are about 15 miles south of downtown Buffalo at Highmark Stadium in Orchard Park. But today, two AFC teams set to do battle. It should be a good one, as it'll be the Cleveland Browns taking on the Buffalo Bills. Brandon Gordon and Charles Davis on hand, and this is a game. And we are underway in Buffalo. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Now comes the offense for the Bills, led by their quarterback at six foot five. That's Josh Allen. And in this league, there are many quarterbacks who have their most success running the ball, while there are others who have big arms. There aren't too many guys who can do both. At the end of many games, this guy leads his team not just in passing, but in rushing as well. Allen going to go to the air right away. That's caught by Gabriel Davis. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. A good safe pass there right off the bat. That's almost a rhythm play. That's what we like to call it. Get them into rhythm early. Something safe, something they're confident about, something they feel good. And once that's completed, then you just keep moving from there because the confidence elevates. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. That was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that? Second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down, let him get the first down, and that's exactly what he did. Allen's throw going to be caught by Davis. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. 14 yards, and the Bills will get a new set of downs. From midfield, here's Allen. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary. Moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try to pick up another first down. Here's second and ten. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. And now after the delay of game, they're operating behind the stick, second and 15. Throwing now is Allen. He's got it complete to Stephon Diggs. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. And the pocket's been protected pretty good here so far in the opening drive. We always talk about confidence in runners and catchers and quarterbacks. How about the protection detail? They're not allowing anyone near the guy throwing the football. Third down and six. Now Allen again. And he fires one, but incomplete. Coverage was awfully tight there on third down. They actually closed off all the passing lanes, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. And on their first drive, the offense staying out there. They're going to go for it on fourth. Now, meanwhile, they go for it on fourth down, and my goodness, incomplete. The Bills' drive stalls out on fourth down. And this defense delivers a turnover on downs on the very first drive of the afternoon. They start on the ground with Nick Chubb, and they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. Here's Watson. And he'll get this one to Cooper complete. And they'll wind up getting this 
one all the way down inside the 20. A big pickup of 38. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. They give the chub out of the gun. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. Add this game to the last one, and they move the ball over 50 yards in two plays. Here we go now on first and goal. They're going to go with a tight end here on the running play. And he's in. Touchdown, Browns. Harrison Bryant taking it in from two yards out. And the Browns have taken the early lead on the road here in Buffalo. Extra point good by Hopkins. And that makes the score 7-0. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. And last time they were stopped on fourth down. Had a drive stalled out. We'll see how they respond this go around. I'm eager to see what their mindset is because moving the ball, feeling good, and then that abrupt stop on fourth down, do they go back to the bench and go, oh, boy, they got something for us, or do they go to the bench and say, we blew it ourselves, let's get back out there and move the ball again. And is it different when you get stopped on fourth versus punt? Is that more motivation for the defense, a little more confidence? I think as a defense, you're so excited with a fourth down stop. Making a punt, that's your goal anyway, but a fourth down stop, that's almost a sign of disrespect that they went for it in the first place. And when you get that, you feel great about yourselves ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10 Allen now looks to throw the left side caught by Diggs this will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker eight yard gain second and two from the 42 now here's second and two Now a first carry for the brother of Dalvin. It's James Cook. And a solid run here as he'll pick his way down to the 42-yard line. 16 yards there, and the Bills have a first down. How many times do we say in this game that speed kills, and it does it in so many different ways? In this case, you got a back who's quick and shifted. Can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down. That's some of the benefits of that speed, not just outrunning people in the secondary. And that led to a really nice game. So they go from one 42-yard line to the other as they come up now first and 10. Now Allen. This one complete to his fullback out of the backfield. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Second quarter now in Buffalo. It's the Bills in control of the football as they've got it with a first and ten. On play action. Allen on the move to his left. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. Brandon, once that one broke down, there were only so many options left for him to take. Fortunately, only first down, so he smartly got the yardage he could get and didn't worry about trying to turn it into a bigger play and end up taking a bigger loss. Here, they hope they can regroup and get something different going here on second down. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. I to give some credit to the defender on that when he read all of his keys perfectly and got a great break on the ball and able to force that incompletion. They got to get to the 20 to keep the drive alive on third down. Play action. Now it's Allen. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. The Bills passing game. Get them down the field. They've got another first down. Here's Allen to throw it. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Juan Thornhill. And the Browns are going to take possession here at their own six-yard line. After the interception, here's Watson. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. You could tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. On second and ten, Watson. 
This short pass into the hands of Njoku. And he's going to get this from the 6 out to the 12. A pickup of 6 as they double their workspace. This now a 3rd and 4. Now Watson. They set up the screen to Chubb. And oh, he's just going to be short here. Barely. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. Here's Corey Bajorquez now. Deontay Hardy back deep. Let's take it inside his own 40. Nice punt, but good work on the return to get back 11 yards. And the Bills are going to take over in great position here for the first and 10. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 12 yards that time, and a Bills first down. For many teams, the evaluation of tight ends has really changed. We used to wonder about how they would block first and foremost. Now we want to know how these guys can run, because we envision them in offenses, catch the ball, how much yards can they gain after that? And that on display there for a good pickup. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play, one that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. Second and ten. Here's Allen. Swinging this out wide here for Cook. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like bats, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. That's on target, but it's no good. He had it on line, but it came up just shy of the crossbar, and this will stay at a seven-point game. NFL kickers nowadays, they make things look so easy because normally from this range, about two out of three, and this is not an easy kick. Yeah, 20 years ago, you get where he was in that 50 range, maybe a little over, and it's a big kick, but now we just, if they leave it short, you're like, whoa, what happened? And that, down the numbers, there he goes. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. They run again on first down, Chubb. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7 nothing ball game. Second and a couple. From the gun, here's Watson. And they take him down. The Bills get to him. Holding offense. So they will take the sack instead of the penalty. And it takes another down off the series. But the biggest one of all, do you want to tell the guy who just got the sack that it no longer can? Under pressure, and they got to him again. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts. So as they talk it over, we step aside. And Bohorquez on to punt as he gets it away. And this will carry out of bounds. Where are they going to spot it now? At about the 18-yard line, it looks like. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. Come get a little bit closer this time. Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. And that might be exactly what they needed to wake up this home crowd. They haven't given them much to cheer for so far. And never underestimate the effect the home crowd with you can have on a game. 
So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. Allen. Little pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. And he will go out right near the 35-yard line. The Mills passing game getting him down the field. They've got another first down. Misdirection's the key on this play. They line up with three receivers to the opposite side of the tight end. And they're all going to work their way across the field and let the tight end slip underneath against Blow the other way. Get back in the heat and get lost, and that's exactly what happened as they pick up a first down. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. To throw, it's Allen. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. Josh Allen, very athletic at 6'5", showing the versatility, picking up the first on the scramble. As he came to the line of scrimmage, he knew he didn't need much to reset the chain, so when he saw the space he needed, no hesitation. He went to the marker and got his guys a first down. Operating from the red zone now, Allen. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent, and that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. That play call wasn't there for them against that coverage. So they're going to spin the dial now in their playbook and come up with one more shot at the marker to try and keep this series going. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Back to the ground. Caught. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. They didn't need a big play there. They just needed a conversion, but I'm really downplaying it, aren't I? Getting a conversion, picking up a first down, not easy in any aspect. How about that one right there? Yeah, with the dive, knew where the line to gain was, went soaring past it. Yeah, that's doing it by any means necessary. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. On play action, Allen. Toward the pylon, caught. And just shy of the goal line as he's out of bounds right at the one. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. Well, this has certainly been a nice drive with the way they've spread the football around. Here, they even get the fullback involved in the passing game. That's got to cause a lot of consternation on the defensive side. you got to cover him, too. That makes things... And Cook will get in. Four Bills touchdown. A great effort there. In the final seconds of the first half. And the Bills have a chance to tie the game here in the final seconds of the half. I tell you what, this was a much-needed drive and a much-needed touchdown at the end of this drive. They had not done much of anything in this first half, but here they put all the pieces together and they get the score right before the half. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. So the late touchdown ties things as they will kick this one away in the final stages of the half. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. The Browns drive about to get started. One second, all that remains. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. So thanks to the late touchdown, it's a time ball game here heading to break. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our... E and now due to apparent time constraints, we fast forward to the beginning of the second half. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. Set and ready to go for the second half. One touchdown apiece, 7-7 seven, seven our score. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Browns offense set to go to work to begin this third quarter. It's a tie football game here. What do you think, Charles, the message was at halftime? Well, I think that they probably just looked at things and said we're fortunate that this is a tie game. No need to panic. No need to change a whole lot. 
We didn't play anything close to our best in the first half, so we don't have to go out and win one for the Gipper. Let's just go out and play our best football and win one for us. Out of the gun, Watson. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. A shotgun snap for Watson. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. And so many times we look at the opening drive in the third quarter as a tone setter, and many coaches do emphasize it. And that's a strong performance there defensively to force the incompletion and, more importantly, force a quick punting situation. On the return, Hardy. A nice return there of 11 to help mitigate a good punt. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. Now a throw out to his fullback is complete. So he'll be stopped here for no gain. And it'll be second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained. So they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Now Allen. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Uh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. But that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. 50 yards rushing for him now. He's carried the ball just five times. So that's what that elbow in my ribs was all about. You thought they were going to throw the ball as well. Absolutely. I think everybody thought they were throwing the football. Caught him off guard. Yeah, I'm telling you, when you have the courage to make that type of a play call, a lot of times you actually get rewarded. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often miss time that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. So the shotgun snapped to Allen. Oh, that's in a double coverage and intercepted. Picked off by Grant Delpit. And he'll get this back to the 32-yard line. Yeah, he's just trying to throw this ball into the hole in the zone, but those windows can open and close quickly, especially in the middle of the field. So if the timing's not right, we'll see interceptions like that one right there. Pretty good results here on the first down run as he takes his forward for about six. That was a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Well, they had a great starting field position on this drive, and now they face a third and four. Watson now to throw. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. And this is just outside the right upright. It's no good. And we will remain tied here in this third quarter. Well, close game, second half. You obviously hate to leave three out on the field. Especially in a game like this when you know points are hard to come by. That was one of their best opportunities so far. And they come away with nothing. The Bills offense back out onto the field. Now this game, it has obviously been all about the defense on both sides of the football. Which offense is going to break through here? We'll see if they can do it on this drive. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. So give him two yards there on the completion, and it'll be second down. That's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, short tackle. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. Oh, I like the calmness of how he played the ball here. No panic in his eyes as that throw arrived. Tracked it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand, and that's just where he needed to be to knock it away. Go. 
Throwing his Allen on third. And that nearly intercepted. Boy, for a guy known for his hands defensively, that's a ball he probably thinks he should have come up with. And instead, it's fourth down. Here's the punter, Martin, now to kick it away. And looking up into the sun, he's able to make the fair catch inside the 20-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And the Browns will take over first and 10. On first and 10, Watson. This complete to David Bell. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. From the gun, it's a give to Chubb. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. Now it's Watson. This short pass into the hands of Njoku. And he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. To throw is Watson. And the Bills are going to get him as he goes down. Tyrell Dotson able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. The Browns send out their punter now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. Here's Hardy set to return. Call that a 46-yard punt with a net of 40 on the six-yard return. And they will take over first and 10. The Bills ready to take over. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys, they're tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. Now Allen. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. They chalked that one up as a gain of 34 on third down. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time. Back now in Buffalo. 7-7 is our score. Pretty even matchup so far as we start quarter number four. Play action. Now it's Allen. Out to the left. He's got his tight end knots. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route. Just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. On play action, Allen. He's got a man. It's his fullback. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. That's a good effort there after the catch. He looked the ball in and then tried to get it to the goal line. What a nice tackle to get him down. But they're set up well now. First and goal at the one. Field goal could get him the lead, but it might not be enough here as they come up on first and goal. Oh, how about this call down near the goal line? And Davis gets in for a Bills touchdown. Taking it in from a yard now. And the Bills have broken our tie and have taken a fourth quarter lead. This feels like something we'd see more commonly, CD, in a college game. They give it to the receiver down here in the red zone, but it winds up successful. Yeah, partner, I think you think it's less likely to find running space to the edge down here close to the end zone where things are so condensed. 
but a lot of times you end up focusing on the running backs, and they're able to slip it to the receiver, and it resulted in a touchdown. And they'll try a little razzle-dazzle. And he is into the end zone. The conversion attempt is good. And that'll give him an eight-point lead here in the fourth. Touchdown Bass to kick it away. And now Cleveland geared up to take the field. Still plenty of time here in the fourth quarter. Just a one possession game down eight. They'll be looking for the touchdown and two point conversion. A field goal here on this drive does very little at this stage. And he's able to get up here to the 26. Call it a gain of three on the play. And it's second down. Here's Watson. And he's got his receiver, Cooper. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. 23 yards the pick up there. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day. One score game. First and ten here. And somehow he's going to get a yard out of this as he fought through that first contact. It's second down. Second and nine. From the 50, it's Watson. He's got the connection to Moore. Broke through some contact, but unable to reach the 40. So eight yards on the completion there. And now one yard to go on third down. They'll run for it. Here's Chubb. Shedding the... And now off to the races down the right side. And he is going to have a Browns first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Watson. And he's going to be taken down, but there's a penalty flag in the backfield. Is this a hold, or did they rough the quarterback? The Charles are trying to protect this lead late. Those are the types of mistakes they could afford to go without. About the last thing you want to give them is help in completing a comeback, which is exactly what that penalty does. Touchdown, Browns! Deshaun Watson on target to David Njoku. And the Browns have a chance to tie things up as they trail by two here in the fourth. Looking to maybe throw for it here, Watson. And he will get into the end zone for two. And this game now tied here in the fourth. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. On the return, Deontay Hardy. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Back onto the field now comes the Bills offense. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now, but let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. To throw is Allen. That is complete downfield to Knox. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. I forget about the trickle in the ball. That would be at this point of the game. They needed a big jump, and they got one. And now... You're one completion away from giving your kicker a chance to win the game. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. Now Allen. First down, here's the run with Cook. 
And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. I know a lot of people won't like the draw called in that situation, but every now and then that pops big. In this case, it didn't happen. They'll come up now, second and nine. Allen, now Cook, he's got it off the draw. And this may be a carbon copy as he'll again be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. They're making steady progress, but I see your face. You're worried about that clock. I'm worried about the clock, and at some point, you have to have a splash play in there as well. And we will get a timeout with two ticks left. So all eyes now on Tyler Bass. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. It looks good, and it is good. From 54 yards away, he bangs it through. And the Bills are going to get out of here winners. What a ball game this was. What an atmosphere this was. And the home team getting the late touchdown, getting the victory, and now everybody in this building can file away with smiles on their faces. And what do real estate people tell us all the time? It's location, location, location. So being at home, that could be a big